what's going on guys thank you for clicking on this video and make sure you like and subscribe now let's jump into it we're going to start off here in the smack dab middle of dallas texas at greenwood cemetery now this cemetery is very old and it's got a lot of history behind it very beautiful very very big cemetery uh this place pretty much has anybody that was anybody pretty much early 1900s and before i mean congressmen there are a lot of uh, thousands of confederate soldiers there are uh, rangers there are bounty hunters in here i mean anybody that was anybody or anybody that was a badass 1900s and prior they are here Now this is a another big Confederate plot. Notice the Confederate guy on the top. Um, this has all everybody that's buried under this thing or around it. There's all uh, Confederate soldiers. Uh, if you notice, I'll show you here in a second. There are round tags on all Confederate um, soldiers in this cemetery, so it marks which which people in here are Confederate soldiers. Um, you know like some of them are some of them aren't but the majority of them out here in this cemetery are confederate soldiers i love the huge trees and just how big and open this place is i mean these trees have been growing here for a long time So let's, uh, let's drive along here and let's go find another cool spot here with some interesting graves and headstones. I like these videos because I like just showing that there's not really a whole lot. I'm not getting into history with this. It's more of just showing kind of old cool headstones, uh, just how big and just gargantuan what these things were back in the day. I, mean, I just, I love how, just how they all went out on them, you know, went all out. Like this was just a big gigantic monument, but it's got, you know, you know six you know little headstones in front you got the main one i think from what it looks like it was a mother and father um and then basically all in front of them were all the kids the way it looked now this was another big plot this one's a big 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 one this had a uh, big center monument piece um then all around it had all the different family members there was uh, there was, you know, mothers and fathers and husbands and wives and you know, pretty much everybody in the family was in that thing. There was about 15 different people in that one plot. All right, and here we are at Christopher Columbus Slaughter's little mini mausoleum. Now, this thing is built for six people, and it is full. Uh, they got the whole party in this thing from uh, all different family members, but for sure, uh, Mr. Slaughter is in here, in fact. Now, I did uh, tug on the doors to see if they were open, like one of the other ones were. Uh, one of the other mausoleums, I checked they were open. Uh, this one was not. This one was pretty well kept. It does, doesn't look like it's uh, been opened in a long time. Everything seems to be intact as uh, it seems that ones that have been left open before, they get destroyed, stuff gets broke, windows get knocked out, people start breaking in the, the, uh, the big uh, name plates and try to get into them. Uh, this one seems to be untouched, so this one looks like it's been locked for a good while. let's continue driving on here and see what else we can find like i said i don't i mean there are a few times i'll do like history videos on people that are in certain cemeteries but most of them i just like to look 
at how extravagant some of these uh, headstones are just kind of you know what what possessed people to want headstones like this like what were they involved in in their life to want this now as i was driving along i noticed this right here and i was like what's going on here and i guess someone has left water bowls out for the to uh, i guess all the local dogs and cats or whatever that i guess hang out in the cemetery so they wanted to go ahead and water them And so then I got over to here, this one little spot, I seen this one little random pole sticking up right here on your bottom uh, right hand corner. I was like, man, what, what is this? And I got to looking at it and it looks like it used to be like an old plot there that used to be fenced off and maybe over the years it got knocked down, tore up, or maybe the families had people dug up and moved and they just tore it down and never put it back up. So I got to tinkering with it and looking around where the old poles may have been. And this is what I've come up with with the old concrete squares that are still there. Uh, this probably kind of similar to what it used to look like and then I'm thinking okay it must have had bars so it probably along something maybe along these lines with maybe you know little pickets or something on it uh, but I think this was kind of what it looked like I'm not 100% sure but that's what I've come up with I love how nice and big this place is um, I've heard that this place is really gorgeous in the fall so I do plan on coming back in the fall and checking it out. Um, so here's just kind of another little nice kind of shaded area. It looks real nice, real old, 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 old headstones. And it's kind of odd, like there's some spots that are like the grass is perfect and some spots like this where there's like no grass which is just obviously probably from heavily shaded, you know, areas, like, you know, you know, real thick trees. All right, so here's something for you guys. Uh, these right here, obviously, are two different plots here. There are two people, a husband and wife now. You don't see these very often like this anymore. It's rare, but you do find them in some places, but you most of them old Victorian and just older cemeteries. Now, the reason they did this from what I've read and watched over the years is back in the day, uh, like in early 1900s and 1800s, there was a big issue about grave robbing. People used to get grave robbed. So when they buried you, they would bury you and just basically build this big concrete slab on top of you to make it difficult for the grave robbers to get to you and, you know, obviously rob the grave. So that's my little tidbit for you on that one. Now, I could be wrong, but that is what I've read over time that that's what the purpose of those are for. And there are some that you'll see in different places that have cages on them. There's a whole different story on that, you know, what those are, but. All right, and this one I liked because if I understood it right when I looked at it all, there was a husband, a wife, and all three kids buried here. So it's basically just a single family plot, so it's not multiple, multiple families. But once again, same thing, big concrete blocks, slabs laid on top of their grave. Let's drive on around over here. <clears throat> I see a mausoleum off in the distance a little small one go around there see what that one's about that's a nice one nice one a little shaded area here what's this one's dent d-e-n-t that's a cool looking picture up there too a tree a little mausoleum here it doesn't look big enough for anybody but it does have some little niches in there for urns it looks as uh it looks like the thing has been kicked down at the bottom looks like i try to get into that one. Ooh, i bet that hurt their foot let's see it's 
spoiler I didn't go in I did not go in now I did open the doors I did kind of check it out I did not step foot into this just out of respect it's not mine um, but obviously I see why there is damage on the inside because the doors have been unlocked for some time now it was kind of cool seeing it open because I've ever never actually seen one open but I do not have any video of it open uh, just out of respect of the family and the people that are in there All right, guys, so I know you're probably a little disappointed because from the beginning you probably saw like we were going to go in there. We didn't. Like I said, I just didn't want to. I didn't want to upset nobody. I didn't want to cause no issues. So uh, thanks for clicking on this video, guys. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Comment below, and I'll do my best to get back to you guys. And until next time.